Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwan. If you're new to my channel, thanks for watching. If you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button down below and right next to it, two seconds, hit the bell notification. Because when I upload videos like this, you'll be first to be notified. And if you're watching on Facebook, thank you very much. I always appreciate a growing audience. If you haven't done so, hit the like button down below. And if you can, if you find this information valuable, please share with a friend. I always appreciate, again, a growing audience. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I always read them and I respond to them as quick as I can. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwad. I have a confession to make and I just wanna let you know, in my youth, I was an addict. I was addicted to sugar. Huge sugar, a lot of sugar. I consumed sugar every day. I woke up to sugar. I went to bed with sugar. I loved sugar. It was very addicting. It made me feel good. I came high. I crashed. I got some more sugar. Sugar was my drug. I woke up again. Colas. Then it was such a diet. Colas. Bomb pops. Ice cream. Ho hos. Ding dong. Sugar cereal. We consumed it all. This is what we always did back in the days. Nobody knew the damaging effects of sugar because everybody did it. However, as I grew up, I realized, wow, I was addicted to sugar. Now, the thing about sugar, it's very interesting because it was once considered a spice. Also, it was one time used as medicine. It started off as a luxury because sugar was a rare, it was a rarity. It was hard to find. So if anybody who had sugar, remember it made you feel good, it started off as a luxury item. Thing is, the average American consumes about 80 pounds a year of sugar. Now in my youth, I probably did 160 pounds. Everybody did, why not? 80 pounds of sugar a year, that's a lot of sugar. It's very addictive. And the reason why it's very addictive, it's very addictive because it acts on the part of the brain called the nucleus accumbens, which that's the addiction center because right around that neighborhood is where dopamine is produced and released in the brain. Anytime that you do anything, you get this dopamine rush, you hit it enough, yes, you become an addict, no matter what it is. Is it sugar? Is it exercise? Is it book reading? Is it meditation? Is it yoga? What is it? Okay. It hits that dopamine receptor and it floods the body with dopamine. And what happens is that in order to get another high, you have to get more and more and more and more. And this is just the, the how the body weight, how the normal effect of how the body works with the dopamine release. And I'll get to the reason why later on. Thing is about sugar, it causes inflammation, joint pain, it ages your skin, it binds to the protein in your bloodstream, which causes your skin to age before its time. As a clinician, I could tell by the people's skin how well their diet is. I always have a saying that if you eat at Macy's, you're gonna, have a, you're gonna have a Macy's body. If you eat at Walmart, you're gonna have a Walmart body. You are what you eat, okay? So I'm just gonna go over some questions about, again, are you addicted to sugar? One of them is, do you feel the need to snack or eat all day? Do you eat a lot of fruit or drink a lot of juice? Fruit is high in sugar. It's actually fructose, which again, your body cannot utilize. It bogs up the liver. Yes, you can get fed on fruit. While well, I consume eight bananas a day, yeah, that's why you have a tummy. Remember back in the days, fruit was nature's candy and the average amount of servings of fruit we should have are two. You're a coffee hound and crave sugary alcohol drinks. You're chronically stressed out. Are we all chronically stressed out? This is why you go for the sugar because it hits the right side of the brain, the emotional center of the brain, has a dopamine release and you feel great. You crave sugar during or after meals. Again, it messes with the blood, the, the glucose levels in the blood. Hunger hits you like a brick wall. You crave the carbs in the morning or late at night. Yes, you may be a sugarholic. Cravings increase the longer you go without it. Why does that happen? Why? Because sugar is very addicting. It's the dopamine release. The less sugar you take in, the, again, your dopamine is craving. You want it. You want it. Give it some time. That too shall pass. Okay, so again, what is exactly sugar? What's, where do you get it? Where is it formed? Now, 
again, you can, you can get it from the Ho-Ho's and Ding Dong's Bomb Pops ice cream, but also sugar is, a lot of sugar is also hidden in carbohydrates in like your white pastas, white bread, white rice, loaded with sugar. And the thing is, it has many names. It has over 50 different names. What, to, the way to identify the sugar is it ends in OSE. So this is how they hide it. Dextrose, maltose, high fructose corn syrup, which is deadly for the body. It causes systemic inflammation. It's very hidden. So make sure that you are reading the labels and identify the sugar. One of the things that you want to do, you want to balance out your insulin levels because when you take in the high amounts of sugar, it's spiking the bloodstream with glucose, send the signal to the pancreas to release more insulin, and if you keep on hitting the pancreas to make release more insulin, then you're gonna have this situation that you're gonna become insulin resistant. So you want to do diet changes. You wanna, again, your, the key thing is, is to take in the foods that are not gonna have that huge insulin release to the pancreas. So you want to balance out your diet with fat, dietary fat, dietary proteins, and fiber. Notice how I didn't, I didn't say carbohydrates. Back in the days, back in the hunter and gatherer days, what did we eat? We ate the boar. We ate everything from the, from the nose to the butt. What was it full of? Dietary fats, essential proteins, fiber. We lived off the vegetation, vegetables, we got our carbohydrates through vegetables. And our candy was fruit. So you want to balance out your body, the diet, because the main thing you want to look out for is to not release so much insulin from the pancreas. Also, too, nutrients, essential nutrients. So when you're cutting out the carb, I'm sorry, when you cut off your sugars, okay, you want to balance out these nutrients. Why? Because you want to support the glucose sensitivity and insulin sensitivity that you, would, that you jacked because you were so addicted to sugar. Now, keep one thing in mind. I know you're going to get sugar withdrawal. I did. So one of the things you want to keep in mind is lateralized foods. So you can't take in soda, but you're so used to the soda concept. Lateralize it and take in sparkling water. Take in Perrier water. Take in bubbly water because you're still gonna get that, you know, the oral fixation, but you're not gonna get the can that's loaded with all the sugar content. Also too, recognize your symptoms. You're gonna go through withdrawals. Why? Because it's the dopamine release. In order to break any addiction, okay, you just can't remove the activity without repercussions because your brain's gonna say, where is it? And it's gonna scream out in pain. So anytime you, you, you take away that bad, bad behavior, you have to replace it with something good that's going to equal that dopamine release, dopam uh, dopamine release in the blood and in your brain. It's going to make you feel good. So exercise, read, do a hobby, do something that you haven't done in a while. Get your mind off of it. The most important thing, as I always say, is recognize the symptoms that you're going to have well, think about for the first seven days, and remember, 21 days, a habit's produced. Withdrawal. You're going to have withdrawal symptoms. Sugar is a drug. You're going to go through withdrawals. You're going to have cravings. You're going to have headaches. So just be aware of it. The nutrients. B-complex. The B-complex family is phenomenal for the nervous system. Chromium picolinate and cinnamon. Chromium is good because it's going to help with the insulin release, make your cells more insulin sensitive. Cinnamon, I've had patients of mine lose weight very quickly by putting cinnamon on all their food because cinnamon stabilizes blood sugar. A couple things, green tea and alpha lipoic acid, take those, that, 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 those are two phenomenal antioxidants. You want to clean out that liver pathway. Also too, gut health. You want to clean your gut up. What did you do to your gut? You destroyed it. How? By the sugar. So you got poor gut health. Remember, the gut is a second brain. Your brain, you want, to, you want to repair the brain, so you want to fix your gut, because this is where your immune system is. So you want, again, the gut lining, probiotics. Probiotics are phenomenal to help restore the, the, uh, the normal flora of the gut. Also, apple cider vinegar. One teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, empty your stomach, about 45 minutes before you eat, what's going to do is going to help stabilize the pH. 
and this is how you're going to fix your gut. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you find this information valuable, please share with a friend, and thanks for watching. Appreciate it.